duties of mayor. The duties of mayor. On which I am now about to enter. On which I am now about to enter. But it's a real privilege to be able to serve as Gainesville's mayor. Uh, it's an exciting opportunity to, to see my own hometown grow and change and uh, to play a role in that. And so I encourage folks to continue to let me and the other elected officials in Gainesville know what their needs and desires are so that we can respond accordingly. The Depot Park has really taken a huge amount of effort. There are lots of different partners involved. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection, the St. John's River Water Management District, uh, the EPA, both Gainesville General Government and Gainesville Regional Utilities have really pitched in to make this a reality. And our federal representatives who have been here today and our state representatives have helped us out in Washington and Tallahassee. So it's been a lot of work, a long time coming, but it's exciting to finally see it coming to fruition. Well, I think it's really um, wonderful that we're focusing on getting some of the more active and interesting uses open in the early stage, because I think, you know, it's a classic case of once folks see what the potential is, I think there'll be some community support for completing the park and, and building the context, of course, for the museum. And the, the traffic circle, by the way, looks absolutely fabulous, really nice. One, two, three. Again, thank you for everyone who's played a role, and we'll look forward to seeing the uh, airport continue to grow and to serve this area and the surrounding community as well. This is our North Central Florida airport, and it will continue to be. Thanks so much. All right. Yeah, yeah surely, surely yeah. on a website. Somewhere. I love those pictures of hard hats where everybody has it on at a different angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah these people wear hard hats all the time. <laughs> I hope all of the enthusiasm you see uh, here today in the crowd really signals how exciting we are uh, on behalf of the city of Gainesville to announce the acquisition of the Kennedy Home site. What we're planning to do here is knock this down and start fresh with a brand new neighborhood. And we work very closely with the um, citizens like the ones uh, Jackie just introduced, including Ms. Harrison, who I said to her earlier, she must be feeling some mixed feelings to see her house about to be demolished, but what will rise in its place, and you can see what a beautiful lot this is and how wonderful a location this is, that what will rise in its place will be a brand new home that she and our other homeowners will have the opportunity to work with city staff to choose the colors and finishes. Now, now I'll be embarrassed if I don't do good. <laughs> I'm not panicked, so if there's any reason, I'm not panicked. As you can see, it's a wonderful neighborhood that uh, in some ways has been left behind, and so we're trying to rectify that and make sure that um, we maintain the historic character of the neighborhood, but that we do some nice infill housing and restoration and redevelopment. This is a very, very exciting day for anyone who loves Gainesville, loves cities, or loves downtowns. Uh, this Hampton Inn, I think, is the most beautiful Hampton Inn I've ever seen, and I am a Hampton Inn fan. Uh, they do a great job and, and always provide a nice day, but this one is particularly chic and gorgeous, and in just a few moments, you'll all have an opportunity to see that. So today is National Earned Income Tax Credit Awareness Day, and so the dollar and cents campaign is really wanting to make sure that, that our families in this community get the dollars that they are entitled to, that they are empowered to have the financial know-how to use the dollars as effectively as they can to move forward. And they are really launching this great new partnership with the United Way of North Central Florida and the 211 a system for appointments. I'm really proud that we have a number of city employees who have committed their volunteer time to help with this effort and, and we are committed to continue to help this program grow and prosper in our community so that people are really able to get their full tax, tax uh, refund and credits back in their pockets. In 
2009, Gainesville Fire Rescue contributed to our investment in human capital by contacting over 13,000 citizens in our community with fire and life health safety messages and responding to more than 15,000 calls for help to the, by those in need. GFR is also working to establish a safer club environment for our citizens through its coordinated effort with the Gainesville Police Department to implement Operation Safe Club, our crowd management training system for businesses with an occupant load over 50 persons that serve alcohol. The overwhelming majority of more than 133,000 calls for service that GPD handled last year went off without a hitch. In many areas of our police department, our officers expel, excelled well beyond expectations. Alachua County, the University of Florida, the Florida Department of Transportation, and the City of Gainesville are funding partners for implementation of an $18.2 million traffic management system. The system is part of a five-year overhaul of traffic signals throughout Alachua County. The City of Gainesville Public Works Department maintains 229 traffic signals in Gainesville, all of the other cities, and in unincorporated Alachua County. More than 90,000 fans now spend roughly a third less time in traffic on game days and special events, reducing congestion, delay, and tailpipe emissions. I want to start by really thanking and recognizing the Massey family for sharing Mr. Massey with us for so many years and for allowing him the freedom to be a visionary to create a park system that really defines uh, so much about our community today. Uh, so uh, this park played an enormous role in my own in my own life, and it certainly, as you saw, uh, I could not come to to uh, West Side now Ray Massey West Side Park without bringing my two little ones. They have gone off to play at this point, uh, but it's a huge part of their life as well. So we're ready to dedicate the Phase One B of the Hogtown Creek Greenway. One, two. Ah, and whereas the Florida Association of Public Art Administrators and the general public are invited to join the Department of Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Affairs in the dedication of the solar walk benches titled Clouds, Stars, and Moons, we really want to thank you this evening and point out that we are so fortunate that all of our acts this evening are from this area and they're going to highlight for you what we love about North Central Florida, what we love about this whole area. Uh, our tourist development motto is where nature meets culture and you're going to see a lot of culture tonight. On behalf of the 120,000 citizens of the City of Gainesville and of course on behalf of myself and the Gainesville City Commission, I'd like to bestow on Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers a key to the city. It's very exciting. A great American moment. Just seen Barack Obama take the oath of office and give his uh, inaugural speech. It was full of hope and uh, just a calling on all of us to be a part of the solution for the challenges that we have and look forward to having a wonderful new president in the White House. Good afternoon. And this is, this is baby Quinn. He thought he'd come and see these new buses. There's nothing more exciting for a little boy than buses. But Mayor Marks and I are also very close personal friends. We went through Leadership Florida together, and we have a regular bet on football, which normally I win. Uh, but we also have an ongoing competition on energy efficiency, which also I'm winning. But, uh, <laughs> I put this together for an organization called the Southeast Climate Funders Group, and I changed it just slightly, but I was asked to sort of present what's going on in Gainesville and put it in a context of what more can we do to address climate change from a local government level. And the last set of presenters, Dr. Mulkey and Dr. Sokowitz, I never know if I'm saying that right, Paul, um, were really looking at sort of some of the big international, national, global issues around climate change. And this is sort of the other end of the spectrum, is what is really happening on the ground in America's cities and counties. And fortunately, the answer is um, quite a bit. Not enough, but quite a bit. We do support the Energy and Environment Block Grants in terms of what Congress can do to assist us. Uh, we're very fond of CDBG and that's a nice, a nice program that addresses the local needs. Uh, we also support 
Clean Renewable Energy Bonding Program. The American Public Power Association is uh, suggesting some changes to that. Uh, the federal government can help with programs related to transit. We are a very strong transit community. We had a million and a half passengers a year in 96 when I was first elected. We have over nine million today. Transit can work if it's done properly. Okay, uh, with that I want to thank you all for coming. This has been a great turnout and uh, we'll look forward to working with the new administration and with the new Congress to make sure that uh, we make, make uh, impacts to real people's lives uh, through our improvements in their bottom line and also in helping them be a part of the solution for addressing climate change. In, in closing, Gazel was described by Money Magazine as the energy efficiency leader of all Florida utilities and the city is always striving to earn that reputation. It is through your work that we're able to do that. So. With that, I thank you. Perhaps the greatest long-term threat to protecting our community's natural water resources and our neighborhood environments is the, is the intolerable situation at the Cabot Carbon Copper Superfund site in Northeast Gainesville. This site has been on the US EPA national priority list since 1983 and has been a significant concern to our community since well before that time. In an effort to strengthen our ability to protect our citizens and our water supply, your city has invested more than $2 million in staff time, technical expertise, and work related to sentinel wells we demanded to monitor our groundwater between the Superfund site and our Murphy well field. To date, all of those wells have tested clean. We do need your help in this effort. You can help by staying informed, staying involved, and communicating to state and federal officials. Your voice will prevail because in the Gainesville that we want, there is no place for a decades-old contaminated Superfund site. As I approach the end of my two terms as mayor and two terms as city commissioner before that, I'm proud and humbled by our many accomplishments as a city. I'm very grateful for the honor and opportunity to serve this wonderful city as its mayor. Again, thanks so much for coming. With that, I want to thank you and say, Go Gators! Mayor Hanrahan, as Gainesville City Manager, I've had the opportunity to work closely with you for almost five years. Through those years, you have proven yourself to be an exemplary leader of municipal government and the best possible role model and ambassador for our city. You've shown uncommon empathy and support for the 2200 municipal workers who work daily to serve the many needs of our community. You've worked diligently on behalf of the very sometimes contentious interest groups within our city, but you have not failed to be a strong voice for the less fortunate among us, including the homeless, the disenfranchised, and of course, our children. During your four elected terms in city government, six as a commissioner, and now six as our mayor, Gainesville's population has increased by more than 41% to approximately 130,000, and our city has expanded to cover an area of more than 62 square miles. I hope in the years to come, you will look back on this brief selection of your accomplishments with pride and a sense of fulfillment. It is by any measure a record of enviable achievement that deserves public commendation. So on behalf of all your city government workers, thank you for a job well done and best wishes in your future endeavors.